Hi everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at the Smoke Novo 4 Pod Kit. This is actually an upgraded version of the Novo X. The Novo X was very, very similar to this. It actually looked very, very similar but and had pretty much all the same bells and whistles, but this one does have some differences. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you down. I'm going to show you everything that it comes with them and we're going to put it together and we're gonna come back up. But while we're down there, I'm actually gonna show you the differences between the Novo 4 and the Novo X so that you have all that information. So let's go ahead and go down and look at the Novo 4 by Smoke. Okay, so here we are with the Smoke Novo 4 kit. It's gonna give you some information here. It's gonna give you the manufacturer information on that side. You're gonna get, get your um, authentication information here. And then on the back right there, it's gonna give you your kit contents. And then inside the box, you're gonna get you're gonna get your user manual. This is actually everything that you need to know about the device. And it also has some specifications right there if you wanna go ahead and pause the video. It's also gonna be coming with a warning card, making sure that you're using a proper charger. And then you're gonna get your warranty card as well as the verification card. Now inside of here, you're gonna get your device, which is the battery, the pod, and one coil. You're gonna get a spare coil, and then you're gonna get a type C charging cable. Now this charging cable is type C, but it is 0.74 amp charging, so it is a little bit slower of charging, but it does fill it up, it fully charges it. And then you're gonna get some silica gel, which we do not eat. And as I mentioned, you're gonna get two coils. Both of them have the same resistance reading. Both of them are 0.8 ohm resistance coils. This is their new, LP1 coil. This is a mesh coil and it's to 12 watts. And that's what that looks like. It's really hard to see. And then you're going to have this one. This is actually their DC coil, but it is also an LP1. So this is the LP1 DC coil. And this one is 0.8 ohms, but this is just a regular round wire coil. And that's what that looks like. Now the LP1, the differences between these coils and previous coils is actually gonna be the fact that they have three O-rings opposed to two, so they're saying that they're leak proof due to the having extra O-rings. So what I'm gonna do is just put those aside real quick and then we'll go ahead and look at the device. Now already installed is gonna be your 0.8 ohm resistance mesh coil. And this is what the pod looks like. It's very, very similar to the previous ones, but they did go ahead and make this clear so that you can see it a lot better. So right here, it does say smoke. On this side, it's gonna have just the warnings. When you first get it, you will have this little sticker telling you to open it. Um, they put that on there so that the contacts don't touch in case it accidentally does is turned on or something like that now this does have removable coils so what you're going to do is once you want to remove a coil or even prime your coil you're just going to go ahead and take your coil out like this again this has the mesh coil already installed that is what the inside looks like so with this one i'm actually going to be using the mesh coil i am already testing out the other one which is the dc coil in here now again this one is only good up to 12 watts so you do need to watch your wattage on that but i'm just going to let you know what instead of priming it up what i'm going to do is go ahead and fill it while we're talking about the actual battery of this now it does have the fill port right on the side i know we're not a fan of the side fill ports but it does have one and you just go ahead and lift it up like this it lifts very very easy you just don't want to pull or yank it so what i'm going to do is just go ahead and put some e-liquid in it these cartridges do hold two mils of e-liquid and I haven't had any problems filling it. Um, I just stick the nozzle right inside and then just fill it. Again, two mils of e-liquid capacity. And if you leave the coil for about two to five minutes, it'll actually saturate fine. They're like two to three minutes if you prime it. So two to five if you don't prime it. So here's the battery part. Now this right here is um, the Smoke Novo 4. And this has an 800 milliamp hour internal battery. As you can see, it does have a display and one button and then this wheel. This wheel is actually your airflow adjustment. So you can actually adjust it from the outside, which the previous Novo did not have. So for instance, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, this is actually the Novo X, very, very similar in everything about it, but this one did not have any type of airflow control. In addition to that, this one actually has a different mouthpiece, as you can see. So the mouthpiece on this one is actually a little bit smaller to give you a little bit more of a restrictive vape than the original one had. Pretty much everything else on it is the same, um, except for the fact that now um, 
except for the fact that now you have a clear cartridge and this one um, has now external airflow control. So let's go ahead and both of them were 25 watts as well. Except for this one goes as low as 5 watts to 25 whereas the Novo X went from 1 watt to 25 watts. So what you're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just leave this sitting for a second and we'll go ahead and go over the one I've been testing. Now I did leave the sticker on here while I was testing it so that it wouldn't get beat up and stuff. But if you notice, they are putting like the QR code there. But the good thing is, is they're not actually putting it on the device. They're putting it on the plastic, which is awesome. You, to turn the device on, you're going to click it five times. One, two, three, four, five. That turns the device on. You're going to see smoke, Novo 4, and then you're going to have your display. Now, let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit more for you. Now, on the display, you're going to get your wattage. You're going to get your battery indicator as well as the percentage. You're going to get your puff counter and your resistance. Now, if you want to, being that this is a one button does everything, this doesn't, the button does not fire the device. The button only turns it on or changes the wattage. This is an auto draw only. So if you want to change the wattage, you can click the button three times. And now it's going to be in the wattage mode and you can go ahead and change it. It does scroll in 0.5 watt increments, but if you press and hold it, it does scroll faster. Now with this coil that I have in here, which is um, this coil here is actually the DC coil. So this one I can actually vape up to 25 watts, but I'm going to actually just start it at 20 while we're um, when we go up top. So on the back, it does say Novo 4. 800 milliamp hours you've got your warnings right there really really nice solid colors going through and then on the bottom you do have your type c charging port that is pretty much it for the devices they are like i said very very similar this is actually the novo 4 look and this is the novo x <laughs> so like i said very 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 similar i mean very similar there's there's only little bits of information little bits of items that are actually different. Otherwise, this one was actually regular USB. This is actually type C, so that is another change. And of course, to adjust the wattage, all you need to do is just turn this wheel and that adjusts it for you. And that's what it looks like. So all you need to do is right from the outside, if you're getting too much air, you can go ahead and do that. If you're not getting enough um, airflow, then you go ahead and just twist it and turn it and open it up. So that's pretty much it for the Novo 4. We're gonna go ahead and go on top. I'm gonna vape on both of them. Again, this one does have the DC coil in it. So this is the LP1 DC round wire coil, good between 12 to 25 watts. And then this one is actually the um, LP1 mesh coil, which is good between 12 watts. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I do have the same flavors in both. So we're gonna go on top. We're gonna vape on it, pros and cons. So let's go ahead and go up top with the Smoke Novo 4. Okay, so here we are back on top with the Novo 4. Again, in this one, I do have the, the LP1 mesh coil in it. And I do have this at 12, well, 12.5 watts because it says up to 12, best at 12, but I actually like it at 12.5 watts. So let's go ahead and have a vape. And then we're gonna try out the DC coil. Really, really good flavor on this. Now let's go ahead and try the DC coil. Now this one is rated between 12 to 25 watts. And I currently have this one at 20 watts. Usually, I'm gonna to be totally honest with you. Usually I lean towards mesh as being more flavorful, but in this case, I don't know why, maybe it's the higher wattage. In this case, I like the DC coil better. Now they both have the same resistance range. They're both at 0.8 ohm resistance, except for this one is a round wire and this one is a mesh. And this one can only go up to 12, well, is best at 12 watts. And this one is best between 12 to 25. I love this coil. I have been testing this coil. I've been testing both, but I've been actually vaping this one a little bit more <laughs> because I really, really like the flavor. Not only that, I'm gonna go ahead and go over some differences. This is actually the Novo X and this is the vape of that one. Now the Novo 4. Do you hear that? It's actually a smoother, smoother draw. 
So right away, I really like the Novo 4 and the coil that is with it. The next thing is going to be the mouthpiece. I remember, this one had no airflow control adjustment whatsoever, and it had a really, really wide mouthpiece compared to the one that comes with the Novo 4. Now with the Novo 4, another big difference is that it's got external airflow where you can actually adjust the airflow to your liking, and this is exactly the way that I like it. I actually like it. Well, actually, no. I've, I, I changed my mind on this one, but I have been vaping it like that where I don't know if you can see it the opening is like towards the bottom that's my favorite way of vaping this one and again this is the DC coil now with this one I'm not it's not too shabby either I do like the flavor of it I just prefer this one a little bit more probably because it's a warmer vape The flavor is still on point. It's just, I don't know what it is. I, I really think it's the warmness of this one that I like it a little bit better, but the mesh is still really, really good. But a lot of people are like, oh, only mesh has flavor. No, this one really has flavor, which really surprised me during the testing phase. So I did want to mention that while I was testing it. Um, flavor is on point. I know exactly what this tastes like because I have been working on my own guava cheese pastry and it is fire it is so good so if you haven't checked out my monday night live streams that's where i mixed it on and i'm on elr where i have that recipe just check it out okay <laughs> but yeah so i've been trying them both out i really really like either coil but i do prefer the one that with the higher wattage when it comes to lower wattage to me i just feel like it's not getting enough now again this does say best at 12 watts but it doesn't say that you can't go up so i'm actually going to take this up to 15 watts even though it's best at 12, I'm going to take it up to 15 watts. See, it changes. It changes everything. The, the heat, even going up to 15 watts, it vapes. The flavor just, it went up like four points. It really did. Really, really good flavor. Now I'm going to change the airflow on this one. I want a little bit more restricted. Absolutely great. So I really like both of them. Again, I still like the DC coil a little bit more, but not that they're either one of them are bad. I know exactly what this flavor tastes like. I've been testing it out daily for a while now, and it's just really, really good. Now, another difference between this one and the Novo X is the charging port. This one actually has the Type-C charging, whereas this one had the standard USB charging. Now, with the Type-C charging on this one, it is a 0.74 amp um, charging, so it is going to charge a little bit slower, but it, to me, it's so funny because both of these have an 800 milliamp hour internal battery. This one definitely, definitely surpasses this one for sure. And it doesn't run down as fast. So I, I really like this. So it might take you about 60 to 90 minutes, depending on how low your battery is to fully charge it. But I really think that it's worth it because it's taking its time and actually um, depleting. So I really, really like that about it. Now, they are saying that it's virtually leak proof. And the reason for that is because each of the coils now has three O-rings opposed to two. In prior coils, I think it was just that it had one on the bottom and one on the top, or it had just two on the bottom, whereas they were saying that, that you would get residual leaking. Now with the three O-rings on it, there's one really at the tip, which is near the mouthpiece, and then there's two at the base to prevent that. So they are saying that it's virtually leak proof. Now I will tell you that this one here, the Novo X, I had it sitting since like two weeks after my review until today. And I pulled it out. Vapes perfectly. And there was absolutely no leaking in this. So I never had a problem with this one with any type of leaking. I opened it up and I was like, wow, like, look, perfectly clean, perfect. And I didn't dry this off. That's exactly how it was. Absolutely no leaking whatsoever, which I thought was actually fantastic, especially being that it was sitting that long. Sometimes some um, devices, if you let them sit a little bit for a couple days, they can have residual leaking because it's just sitting down on the bottom. So that's why they actually have some leaking to it. But I haven't had any problem with that one. Now for me, again, simplicity, 800 milliamp hour internal battery. You get to change out your coils, another huge pro. 
Um, it's one button navigation, but it's auto draw only. So that's also a pro. Now the, there might be a con from a couple of you that don't like auto draw only and they like to push the fire. But for me, it doesn't really, it doesn't change anything. Not anymore. When I first started using pod systems, I was, I wanted to be in control. I just wanted to be in control and I needed that fire button because I was so used to using a fire button. But now it really doesn't bother me. It makes it even easier for me because all I got to do is just vape on it. Um, five clicks, to turn it on and off and then three clicks to change your wattage. Now, once your wattage is set, it's set. Um, for me, uh, I, you can't really change it unless you hit it three times. So for me, I'll turn it off to put it in my bag, of course. But if you don't, you shouldn't have any problem, but I would still be careful. I really would. Um, I would just shut it off. That's me personally, especially with an 800 milliamp hour internal battery. I would want it to be shut off. The flavor is so good. And both of them have the same exact flavor and I'm loving it. Um, that's pretty much it for my review. Let me know down in the comments. What are your thoughts about this? Do you like the improvements that they made? I honestly have to tell you that having something this small with the airflow control, depending on my mood, is great. It really is. Now they do have a more mouth to lung because you can make this new mouth to lung. That's how I've been vaping this one because the airflow with the small mouthpiece actually restricts it and it's a perfect mouth to lung for me. That's a true mouth to lung. This one is a loose or restrictive direct lung. You can open it wide up and wide open and you can direct lung it if you want it to. Now it's going to be restrictive, but you can. You can do it. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I really like these. They do come in 10 colors. I'm going to go ahead and leave the colors up here for you. And I want you to let me know down below. Do you like those improvements? I think they really listened to us. We were like, hey, that draw is just too loose. It's not really a true mouth to lung. And now they're coming out with a real mouth to lung with airflow control. So if you want it open, you get it open. If you want it more restrictive, you can do that. So I really appreciate that they listened to us and they actually made that improvement. To me, it's an improvement to them. It's just, you know, they've just, they've, they've enhanced it, I guess. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for my review. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are and I will see you in my next one. This flavor. Yum.